Our queen. Our lord. Elders of Umudike Kingdom, you all have greatly disappointed me. Woman, this is not time for this. We are in the middle of a deep conversation. Okay, let me talk. I cannot believe that you all decided to crown this murderer your king. Woman, leave this palace this minute. I will call the guards to throw you out. Tell your king that I accept his challenge. Your Highness, what have you just said? Yes, I accept his challenge. I am ready to let go of my son. Please, Your Highness, I urge you to revisit this decision so that you don't do something we all will regret. Please, I am fully aware of the consequence of my decision. I've made my decision. Go and tell your king what I said. Your Highness, are you sure you will not reconsider this hasty decision you just made? Yes. Oh no. There is nothing to reconsider. I've made my decision. What did I hear? Whatever you heard is true. That you agreed to a wrestling bout with our only son, our only child, as a bet. I know he's our only child, but I have this confidence that we will lose him. But my husband, how could you have agreed to such without telling me? Ezina is my son, and I have the right to take whatever decision over his head. Please, please, my husband. I want you to go back to Ibuenwa Breze of Ifite and tell him that you're sorry you made a hasty decision. <laughs> well, first, I won't do it. And even if it is possible to make Iwema Beze change his mind, I think we've passed that now. I will not go back on that decision. Well, there is no way I will allow you to use my only child as a pet. I will not. Now leave my presence. I'm expecting the head worry any moment from now. I want you to know that I am not in agreement with you on that. You will not stop now. Very soon, you will become my queen. Oh, I can't wait to seriously be your bride. <laughs> Our rule will be the best. Yes, mm. of course. 
Stop it. You know I can carry it. Stop it. Yeah, you know. <laughs> What is it? I don't want to see you in the palace. Why? I don't know my prince. You don't know? He accepted the challenge. What challenge? Something is definitely wrong with your father. Pride has made him mad. What challenge did he accept? He agreed to a wrestling bout between our head warrior, Agumba, and Ezenwa, the head warrior of Ifite people. Okay. Why then are you worried about this? He used you as a bet. You, our only child, as a bet. I do not understand, mother. Son, if Agumba, our head warrior, loses to Ezemwa, we lose you to Ifite Kingdom. What? What did you just say, mother? Why would you make such a demented decision, father? What your tongue, son? How oh, you talk to me, I'm the king. You have no right. You have no right to use me as a wager. Why would you accept such a challenge? Because I am Iwe Agunze, the king of Umuibike Kingdom, with warriors who have remained undefeated for years. Nobody has ever challenged us, except Iwe Mabeze, who thinks he has the strongest of warriors as a warrior, he has made mockery of our people that we are living in our past glory and such I hate. Is that why you will use me as a wager? Do you know what that means? Do you know what it means if Agumba loses to them? I will cease to be your son. I will cease to be the heir to this throne. And I know it won't happen. I trust Agumba with my life. And I know he won't put out people to shame. I refuse to be used as a waiter. I am not in support of this. I don't need your support. I owe you. And you don't have the right to counter my decisions. <laughs> I said it. Oh no. Oh no. I told you. I told you he won't. You did, my thing. Pride. Pride remains the downfall of every man. Oh yes. Pride. Uh, yes! <laughs> I was counting on that. Ah! You have done very well, my boys. Now go inside. The maidens will feed you very well. Hmm? And before you do that, I need uh, Ezema, the head warrior. Fetch him. Yes, yes your yeah, highness. You said it hadn't happened. Oh, yes. Yes. Now, over to the next round. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, from our people that majority uh, see my decision as un uh, unwise, demented. Why I called you here to remind you of what we have always stand for for decades now. Undefeated, unchallenged, and the most powerful 
we have remained my king. So you don't need to remind me of this. Good. I know you wipe the shame off my face. And once again, prove yourself to our people. Are you going to let your feet cherry? Never! Never, your highness! I was never a product of unwanted pregnancy or prostitution. I am a true son and a complete son of the land. Your highness, you know the loins of which I came from. How can you do this? Good. Good. That is why I took that demented decision. Don't call it demented, your highness. Don't call it demented. You have proven to me once more how much faith and trust you have in me. And I will never let you down. I know. That is why I will go and get prepared for this competition. There is nothing, absolutely nothing to prepare for. A lion! Doesn't this sleep over a war with the ship? I will show as I will swallow him. I will eat him raw. <gasps> <laughs> I know. I know, but you have to understand that. Nkocha, Abrojo. Please go and get ready. Yes, Your Highness. I believe you all made me your king because you trusted my judgment and wisdom. So, what changed that now? Since when have you become cowards? Igwenwabe is a dead us. Instead of you supporting me in challenging him, you went behind me, gossiping and calling me a mad king. No, no, your highness. No. No, we never called you a mad king. We never but called you a mad king. You concur with our people. Instead of you reminding them of what this kingdom stands for, since they have forgotten, I am disappointed. I am disappointed. Your highness, we are sorry. But, eh. Uh, you should understand the rashness and consequences of taking that action. Huh? Considering the fact that he's your only son and the prince. He's my son. And our son too. Our future king, your highness. You don't gamble with such things. Meaning you don't have faith in our head warrior, Agumba. I'm still shocked. When have we come to this? I'm still shocked. I greet you all, elders of Moriki Kingdom. You're welcome, our queen. Um, Igwoma, you are not welcome here now. You are not needed here. My king, I have come to speak to the elders of Moriki Kingdom before things get out of hand. I have come to make my voice known. I have come to make my voice heard before I lose my son. You all know how long it took the courts to bless my husband and I with a child. Ten years to be precise. It took the courts ten whole years to bless us with just one child. And today, my husband, the king, wants to gamble with that only son of ours just because of his pride. My elders, I have come to let you know that I am not in support of this. Please talk to him. 
Let him choose another competition. Let him not use my son as a bet. Dalono. You are welcome. You are welcome, our queen. I will need a thorough apology from you all when all this is over. I just can't run away from the palace. I can't run away from my people. Would you rather accept to be another man's son? May the gods forbid. Hmm. But sneaking out is not the wise thing to do, my love. Okay. I don't want to lose you. Please. I don't want to lose you. I love you so much. I love you too. I beg of you, Obum, please. This is something you can do. Help me. My queen, what if Agumba wins? You and I know he's the strongest in this kingdom. Abum, please, I don't want to take chances with my son. Help me. Save my son. You can do this for me. Why, Your Highness? Why have you decided to shame me before our traducers and detractors? Why? Calm down. There is nothing to be calm about this. You and I know there is no way I will win Agumba. This is suicide. Suicide it will be. If you do not listen to me. I am sorry, Your Highness. Good. Sit down. The challenge has been given and accepted. There is no going back on it. It is with wisdom that a rat defeats the cat. Nothing is impossible. With the head warrior of Umudike, everything is impossible, Your Highness. Now will you keep quiet and listen to me? I am sorry, Your Highness. Good. The food here will last you for months. So you don't need to go hungry while trying to find your feet at your maternal home. Ne. I'm not leaving this palace, mother. I've made arrangements with Obom. He will sneak you out. You're not listening to me, mother. I said I am not going anywhere. Isn't it? You don't seem to understand the implication of your father's decision. The moment Agumba loses, you will be taken away from this kingdom. Isn't it? You will find yourself in the palace of another kingdom. I know, mother. But that will not happen. What if it happens? Hmm? Just what if you are leaving this palace and that is final? I am not going anywhere, mother. A prince does not leave his kingdom. What kind of a king do you want me to become? A wise king who knows when to run for his life. 
Like I said, son, you are leaving this kingdom. Mother, I am not going anywhere. Return the bag of food to where you got it from. No one will take me away from this palace. We didn't know when he left the palace. I, I, I swear by the gods, your highness, we didn't know. How can you know when you are busy sleeping? Um, your highness, we promise we shall do whatever it takes to find him. Give you till nightfall. If my son doesn't come back to this palace, I will have you and your families buried alive. And get out. Hold on. What of my wife? I've not seen her since today. Your Highness, we, we don't know. Actually, I saw Your Highness, but she went out. Fool, go and get her for me immediately. Your Majesty, what is this I'm hearing? Where is my son? She'll be asking you now. Asking me what? Some guard just told me that he left the palace and he's nowhere to be found. Where were you early this morning? I went to resolve a crisis at the women's meeting. On my way back, I met two guards who told me that he left. Your Majesty, don't tell me you think I have a hand in my son's disappearance. To you? I was hoping you answered that question because you have been against my decision. Let nothing happen to my son because if it does, I will not take it lightly. And where are you going? To look for my son. Did anyone check Giru's house? Your Highness, if that boy is not ready to go for the competition, I won't blame him. Let us find another person. No. He will go. Your Highness, remember no one has ever wrestled with Agumba and told the story. Ezewa said, you are sending him to his grave. Did you talk to him about my arrangement? Your Highness, you know him better than me. He wouldn't have listened to me. He wouldn't. Send him to me. It's either he does it, or be prepared to face death. Your Highness, I think we still have uh, Isiguzu and Dimaka. What about those ones? No. The 
this contest is between two head warriors. Do not suggest frivolities. Send Matana parents leave. Lived. They are both dead. Oh. I'm so sorry. Since no one lives here, who is here? No one. It's just an empty place. My mother is the only child, so no one lives here. So we have an abandoned heart all to ourselves. And you are afraid that your father is going to send guards here when he knows no one lives here. Eh? Well, um, I just hope you're right. I'm right, my love. Eh? Let's set this place up and settle here. Onna, give me the bag. Listen. I don't know if my son is still alive. But be ready to cost your chin. If he is not. Because you will wish you were never born. Your Highness, we searched the entire village, but we didn't see him. So someone suggested we check on him at the forest. So we decided to come back to leave first thing tomorrow morning to search for him. Mm. You have come back to rest. Why my son probably could be in danger wherever he is. Huh? You are very sorry, Your Majesty. Oh, please. Now leave here. And make sure you don't come back here. I don't care if you go to the land of the dead in search of him. But make sure I don't set my eyes on you without my son. I'm out. What is this? What is it? If I find out that you have a hand in our son's disappearance, I will not find it funny with you. Yeah. What is the meaning of this? Huh? Did you not hear when we were told that Giru's parents are also looking for her? Please, I don't like it when anybody accuses me falsely. Excuse me. from me, Akumba. You now even shout at me? It's me, oh, me. And who are you that Akumba will not shout at you? Who are you? After sleeping with me, you now pretend like we've never met before. And I guess you are the only one or you're the first to sleep with Akumba. Are you? Oh. I should have known. I should have known not to trust your deceitful words, Agumba. I vowed never to give my virginity to anyone. But you deceived me. And now I am pregnant for you. You are what? I am pregnant for you, Agumba. Now let me sound this as a note of warning to you. I don't know where you got that pregnancy from. But let me tell you, you can never get me with that. 
Never! You can't get me with that! I will tell the villagers how you slept and defiled me! I've got me pregnant, Agumba! You must marry me, Agumba! You must! It is tradition! Hmm. Did I just hear you threaten me? Agumba! Agumba! You don't try me! You don't try me! Next time you don't talk to Agumba! The way you lie, you hear me? Did you hear me? Next time, you don't talk to me. I am Agumba! Your Highness, I am suggesting we send some warriors to Ifete Kingdom. I am suspecting they have a hand in our prince's disappearance. Wrong. Why would they do a thing like that? When they are hoping in their widest imagination that they could win him over from us. Why? Your Highness, I quite agree with Ofoma. Because uh, no man with his right senses can invite his chi to a fight. You see, the people of Ifite knows very well that there is no way their head warrior is a, is a mwa, can defeat our own Agumba. So what did they do? <laughs> they decided to kidnap our prince. I know Igwe Mwaweze too well. He's a man of pride. He would love to go into that contest. So, I think kidnapping my son is not something he can do. But, um, Your Highness, Come to think of it, I think the reason the Igwe of Ifite threw that challenge to us for our head warriors to have a wrestling bout is a ploy. So they can kidnap our prince, knowing fully well that their head warrior can never defeat Agumba. Agumba is undefeatable. I doubt it. Please, can you think of possible places where my son could be. Uh, the reason I called you here is that I am going crazy with thoughts. Uh, Your Highness, if our prince is not in a fitter kingdom, then there is only but one place he could be. And I'm afraid if he is not there, <laughs> then we might as well know we have lost him forever. And uh, never! Never! Oh no! How could you say a thing like that? My son cannot be lost forever. Never! Igwe, if it comes to the inevitable, we must accept it. I am sorry. Mm. So, where do you have in mind?
Kiru. Kiru. By the order of the king. I don't want to hurt you. Let's move. Move it now. Move him! Be quiet, woman. What happened? Why are you crying? Igwe. <laughs> My daughter is dead. <laughs> My only child, Ujuwa, is dead. <laughs> Was she sick? <laughs> no, Igwe. She was killed. <laughs> killed? In this community? Yes, Your Highness. She was killed by that beast, Agumba. He killed my daughter! <laughs> Woman, are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, your highness. I have a witness. He strangled my daughter all because she told him she was pregnant for him. <laughs> Woman, please come down. Please come down. Wipe your tears. I will send for him now. I am sorry about the death of your daughter. Please. Igwe, she was my only child. My only eye. Why did Agumba do this to me? My world is gone. I am as good as dead. Igwe. Why me? Who sneaked you out of the palace? For the last time, I am going to ask you. Who sneaked you out of the palace? My answer remains the same. I want Nkiru to be released. Get out of my sight. Get out! You said you found him. In this Matana's place? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I know the truth. Uh, what to? Go and fetch Obun for me. Immediately! Obun what? Why are you? Fetch Obun for me! What has it got to do with this? Just leave him alone! Just uh shut up and leave my sight. Shut up and leave my sight! But I didn't do it, Your Highness. I did not. I wanted to believe you. But after hearing from the witness, it became obvious that you, you, you are lying. Why not be the, You did it. Why not be, call the chest and admit it? I'm sorry, Your Highness. I'm very sorry. Our people now see you as a murderer. You just destroyed the reputation that you've managed to build over the years. What were you thinking when you snuffed life out of that maiden? Your Highness, I was overwhelmed by anger. I didn't even know when I killed her. I'm sorry. Anger, you said. The woman is now childless because of your anger. You know what? I will punish you for this. That is what you deserve. 
I'm still sorry, Your Highness. I deserve any punishment I get from you today. Well, you have a chance at redemption. So I suggest you take it. Defeat Ezenwa in a week's time and restore your glory. Consider it done, Your Highness. That battle has already been won. Get out of my sight. Once again, I'm sorry. I am letting you go because of my relationship with your father. But this will be the last time I will see you near him. You heard what I said. Yes, my king. Yes, my king. It's obvious you're a bad influence on him. And it's unwise allowing you get close to him until he marries you. You heard me. Yes, my king. Go home. Your Highness, we caught him trying to sneak out of the village. We are innocent. Don't know where I was captured. And I was not even trying to, to leave the village. Igwe. 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 I'm innocent. Tie him! I want my wife to be around when I will have a word with him. Igwe, I'm innocent. Yeah, yeah. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. I'm innocent! I'm innocent! Let me go! He tried committing suicide. How dare you? Ezina, how dare you? I wish to die, Father. I wish to die. Since my father has condemned me and made me a thing to bet with, I wish to die. A king begs with tens of words. You are my son. And you watch the whole world to me. I am of no worth to you, father. I was only born to feed your pride. I am of no worth to you, father. I wish to die. Allow me, let me die and go. Where is your mother? I don't know. I don't know and I don't care to know. You don't talk to me like that. She is the cause. And I blame her for it. Guards! Yes, take him back to his hut. I'll remain there with him until I decide what to do with him. Allow me, allow me. What is it, father? What is Take it? Take him back! Father, you're just sending that man to his death. And that's unfair. We need him in this kingdom to protect us, not wasting him just like that. Ah! 
how I wish my daughter. I wish she would begin to share in this my beautiful vision. Father, you know he doesn't stand a chance. He will fail. And you know it. He just don't want to admit it. By the way, what do you stand to gain if the contest is won anyway? Well, you have a brother at finally. Who said I want to have a brother? Princess, can you for once look at the bright side of this? We will emerge as the most powerful kingdom in the event of Ezenwa winning or defeating Agumba. Huh? Father, it is obvious that you are not listening to me. I'll get you out of here tonight. Okay? But I told you, my queen. I told you it was a bad idea. And now you have got me into serious trouble. Just calm down. Calm down. Be patient. I'll get you out of here tonight. Meanwhile, let me get you something to eat. Okay? Oh, oh. <laughs> you are bad, my wife. I can see you are having another arrangement with him. Meaning what? Isn't it obvious that you are the one that sent him to help Prince to escape from the palace? I don't know what you're talking about, Your Majesty. You don't bother to defend yourself or him. I am willing to forgive you only if you can tell me the truth. Because it is only the truth that will set you free. Uh, what your what your highness? The truth, or you you remain here and die. Don't say a word to him. Or boom, the truth. I'm sorry, my queen. I'm sorry. Yes, I did it. She approached me to help her sneak your son out of the palace. Which I did. So sorry, my okay. The truth, finally. Well, you did well, but I am disappointed in you. Because what you've just said is exactly what I had in mind. It just confirmed my doubts. Have mercy. If you have mercy on me, my queen, let me convince him to have mercy on me. God! Join your ancestors. Kill him for risking the life of my son. Igwe. Igwe. I understand my princess, I appreciate your concern, but you and I know that nobody refuses your father's orders. And that is why I'm offering you a way out. 
he will haunt my entire generation and I will live with the shame forever. Zemwa, there is no shame in saving one's life. No shame at all. Listen, I am your only way out of this kingdom. Sorry to disappoint you, my princess. I will rather die than run away from my fatherland. I see. So be it then. I called you as your queen and a friend. I understand that your job falls under the command of my husband, the king. I did not call you to, to command you, but I called you to ask you for a favor. My queen, you know I would do anything for you. We've come a long way for me not to see you as a friend. I'm so glad that you remember our history. Agomba, please. I want you to drop the contest. My queen, are you in any way asking me to disobey the king? Yes. For my sake. Izina is my only child. And I cannot afford to see him being given away to another man as a father. My queen, are you in any way doubting my ability to prove myself to the people once again? No, no. No. Just that I'm scared. What if something goes wrong on the day of the contest? I'd rather die than watch my son being given away to another person. My queen, nothing will happen to your son. I have defeated Ezenwa in my dreams severally. So having him on that contest is like bringing a dream to reality. So why panic? I am ready to offer you anything for you to drop this contest. My queen, did you just say anything? <sighs> My queen, I would advise you sleep over this statement of yours. I will leave you to sleep over it. There is nothing to sleep over. Are you doing it for me or not? my friends. Greetings, Father. Greetings. I hope you are not here to seek permission to go out. I thought you said if I must go out, then I will go with God. You are going out this once in three days. It's not yet time to go out. Well, I'm not here to seek for permission to go out. I am here to let you know that I will soon become a father. I don't understand. Kiru is pregnant for me. What? 
You shouldn't have told your father such a thing. You should have spoken to me first. Mother, you were out all day. I needed to share the news with someone. And you think your father is the best person to talk to? I was hoping that would make him change his mind about gambling me away. Mm -hmm. Isenna, you don't know your father. He is a very proud man. Nothing will make him change his decision. Huh. At least he now knows I will soon become a father. Mm. And what did he say when you told him? He said um, he will speak with you when you come back. This is not good at all. It's not good. I don't think your father is happy about this. I am doing everything to stop that wrestling. I know, mother. I just wish this will pass away. I wish so too. Um, Ogumba. It's quite shameful that my son, when he's yet to marry her, and as his father and the king of this land, I condemn the art. And that means your daughter has to get rid of that child. No, father. She will not get rid of my child. I love her. The reason I got her pregnant. If I must remind you, you're a prince. And the best thing you do to someone you love is to marry her, not to get her pregnant. I'm sorry. But it was a mistake. And can be corrected by me marrying her. I am not saying that you are not going to marry her. But she has to wait until you are ready to marry her. When will I ever be ready, Father? After the contest and you still remain my son, we will start the marriage preparation. But until then, I will not have you a father and illegitimate child. This is unacceptable. It, it's okay, son. It's not okay, mother. I'm not going to let anyone get rid of my unborn child. Never! It will not happen! Uh, <clears throat> Your Highness, I've heard you. I must confess, I was not happy when I heard the news. But I wouldn't want anything to come between our relationship. <clears throat> but I want you to... Um, Ogumba. Your Highness. You remain my good friend. And I am sorry for this. You see, when it comes to royalty, things must be done right. warrior of our land. Where are you coming from? From the palace. From the palace? Yes. So how is the king doing? Um, he's doing very well. That is good. I shall take my leave.
can't be. Shut I up. don't believe you. Shut up! I knew this was going to happen. I knew it. You I want you. Nkiru, I want you. I knew it was going to happen. Now look at it. Let's thank the gods that he never sent his guards against us. What did the prince say about this? What do you expect him to say? Of course he went against his father's decision. Hey! Yes, he did. But he just a prince. He has no authority over his father. Now listen to me. Evacuate that thing. Oh. That bastard you have in your womb, you will remove it. And if you remove it, when the prince wants to marry you, you, he will come to you. In fact, that Nkiru, you put out to shame. Put me to shame. <laughs> no, Baba, no! I will not do it. I will not remove this baby. Because I know the prince will not like the idea. I can't remove this baby. I can't, Papa. Amandia. Amandia. Yeah, no, 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 no. You remove that baby. You remove it. You remove it. Now listen to me. Enaya. Hey. Are you well? Yeah. Did they come? Talk to your daughter. She must remove that baby. Remove that thing inside. Is a bastard. Uh, you will never marry the prince without him telling us that he wants to marry you. Now listen to me. When you remove it, the <laughs> prince will now come to you and marry you. Uh, let's just pray that he still remains the prince after the contest. Mba, the no, 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 no. You can't ask her to remove the baby in her womb. That's murder. Exactly, it's only wolf for Bala. I, I don't think Prince will be happy with her if she got that. Remove it. Remove it. <laughs> you must remove it. No, I will fall for her ever. You know, it's okay. Stop crying. You are not going to remove this baby. Stop crying, please. My princess. Greetings, my princess. I was on my way to your house. Here, take it. Cowries. I don't understand. I'm sure that what is in here will be enough to set you up in another kingdom where you have fled from here. You want me to desert this kingdom? I want you to disappoint my father so that the contest will not hold. Hmm. My princess, you still have not given up about me leaving this kingdom. I want to go for this contest. As in what, don't be foolish. Why are you so quick in embracing death? A young, vibrant man like you. Now, what we'll beginning now? You want to waste it, die just like that? I'm here to offer you a chance to leave. Take this, leave this kingdom, and enjoy yourself. I am sorry to disappoint you, my princess. My mind is made up. Wait! I am ready to give you my virginity if that's what will make you change your mind. That is a tough call you have just made, my princess. Even when you know that I will lose the contest. I don't want to take any chances. Are you interested in my proposal or not? Gods. Yes, you are. Leave us. 
Greetings, Your Highness. How did it go? Now your secret is safe. He is now with his ancestors. Yes. My worthy warrior, I trust you. I hope nobody saw you. I made sure of that. You will send a message to his family. I owe them a bit of benevolence for their father's sacrifice. Yes, Your Highness. Sit down. <laughs> Mother, I swear by the gods, if anything happens to my unborn child, I will kill my father. Bring down your voice. There is nothing to bring down my voice for. If anything happens to my unborn child, I swear by the gods, I will kill him my life. All my life he has been controlling me. Taking decisions that affect my life without my consent. What did I do? Nothing. I kept quiet. Now he wants to get rid of my unborn child. I will not take it, mother. I will never. Else I will kill him. He is your father. Mother, he's not my father. A man that does not want my happiness is not my father. A man that does not care about me is not my father. A man that wants to get rid of my unborn child, your grandchild, is not my father. Isn't that calm down? I want you to be very calm. I know you are angry, but please be calm. Please. I will talk to your father again. And I'll go to Ugumba and make sure that his daughter is fine. As for your unborn child, trust me, nobody can harm him. Mother, for the sake of peace, I will take your words. Thank you. Father, I know you have a hand in his death, but what I don't know is why. Excuse me. Falsely. Watch what you say. Oh, Father, stop the pretense. I am your daughter. Your blood runs through my veins. I know all your moves. You killed him to cover up something I'm yet to find out. Enough. Enough, I say. You accuse me wrongly, falsely. I saw Ezemwa few minutes before discovering Okoli's corpse on the same path he walked. Are you going to call that a coincidence? That's what it is. Father, you lie. It's no coincidence. You don't want to open up to me even when you know I would talk to no one. Why did you kill your best friend, Father? The Onowa of this kingdom. What are you covering up? You better start talking to me, else I will investigate the murder and I will alert all the villagers. You have no reason, but no right to mention his last name here. He's not part of the case. He carried out the hit on your other's father. You better tell me everything I need to hear or watch me talk. According to her mother, she almost took her life. And um, how is that my business? Her blood would have been on your head for the decision you took. Look, woman. 
this is royalty and you know why I had to take that decision. The people of Omudike look up to us as role models. I cannot disappoint them. No illegitimate child is worth keeping and I can never be the first to break the rule. Let Inkiroka abort the child in her womb and wait for our son to get ready to marry her. Simple. Well, her parents are against her aborting that child. So they have taken it upon themselves to take care of that child. Then they have willfully denied themselves royalty. Because my son will never marry a woman with an illegitimate child. Never. You will be encouraging mother. What kind of a king does that? A king that is willing to do anything to uphold the values of the throne he occupies. Hi. I am not going back on that decision. So, you better stop frittering your bread. Right now, we should be praying that nothing goes wrong to, in tomorrow's contest. You should be the one saying that prayer for this palace, which will be destroyed if anything should happen to my son after tomorrow. You kept me waiting, my princess. I was just making sure that I wasn't followed. So? So, I'm here. Since my money couldn't make you change your mind about the contest, but my virginity, I am here to give it to you. It will be my pleasure to be the man to defy the princess of Ifita kingdom. One more thing. This must be between us, as private as possible. If I hear it elsewhere, I will kill you. It is private, and private it shall remain. I have already prepared a place for it for us. But you told me nobody saw you. I am serious, my king. I made sure of that. So my daughter is lying. Your Highness, she saw me shortly after disposing of Kuli's body. She did not see me kill him. I've seen how so well you disposed of that body for my daughter. To have seen it shortly after. I am sorry, my king. She's now threatening to broadcast it all over the village. That I sent you to kill Leonu. But she does not have any evidence, my king. I know. I expected you to work like a professional. You disappointed me. I am deeply sorry, my king. <sighs> All right, you may go. Go and prepare for tomorrow. I can't wait to welcome a prince in my palace. We'll discuss this after tomorrow. You may go. Nekweko, <laughs> 
My people, I greet you. I thank you for honoring this invitation and making this contest a success. And such position cannot hold without a power tussle. And we are here today to reconfirm that Lion remains the king of animals. <laughs> Long speeches are boring. Let the contest begin. My people, I greet you. I thank you for honoring this invitation and making this contest a success. And such position cannot hold without a power tussle. And we are here today to reconfirm that Lion remains the king of animals. <laughs> Long speeches are boring. Let the contest begin.
He is my only child. <laughs> yes, I will. I will leave him. If only you will sleep with me. Enough! You don't say so to my wife. Hey! This boy is wasting my time! to the root of this. I hate you. Your Highness, please. This boy is all I have. He is my everything. Please leave him for me. Pico. Pico. What are you people waiting for? Now, take the boy! Let's leave here! Now! Come on! Take him out! 
Yes, sir. Amen. Move with him. Eh? I want to leave. Leave to where? Okay, you return that bag now. Are you listening to me? Return that bag. Mama, I want to go and be with the father of my unborn child. Please, let me go. I want to go. What is going on here? It's in Kiro. She wants to leave all of a sudden. To where I don't know. Okay. Oh. No. No. Okay. No. Okay. Hey, you want to do we are no? No, I want to go to Fite Kingdom. Mm. Since that is where the prince is sent to. Let me go and be with the father of my born child. Please, mm. Nam. Oh. Mm. And you think that uh, Igwe Mwabezi will just accept you with both hands eh? and say, mm. Welcome. Nkiru, mm? I think you are tired of living. Nam, mm. eh, please. I can't forget about the prince just like that. Eh? Let me go and be with him. At least let him still know that I'm still carrying his unborn child. It will give him hope. Because Nam, let me go. Oh. No one is stopping you. Mm -hmm, Nam. Mm? I'm not stopping you. But remember, don't you ever, ever, Step your feet inside this compound again in your life. Nam. I have spoken. Nkiru. Nam has spoken. Nam, you know. You can't just let her go. What if something happens to her there? Hey, you want to him up? Nkiru! Ah! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah! Hey, how bad is it? Oh, your highness, it's very bad. And the wound is very deep. The only thing I can do now is to help reduce the pain she's passing through. That's all. But you'll be okay. Yes, you will. Agunze. Agunze. He is behind this. Hmm? Hmm. It is obvious. Very, very obvious. Well, Your Highness, it's possible. Ah! Oh, sorry. Um, oh. You. Go to... Go to the town crier. Let him summon all the elders to my palace now. Don't worry, you can eh? relax. Let's have from some rest, eh? Um, oh. You sit, sit down. 
I prefer standing. Well, the maids will show you to your hut once they come back from the stream. Um, welcome to my palace, your new home. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. I know something went wrong. Of course. Of course, something must definitely go wrong. I want you, I can say. I want you, but your pride wouldn't let you listen to me. Now we have lost our only child. You have messed us up. You have destroyed us. Please, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. How? How could I possibly forgive you? No, tell me. How can I possibly forgive you? If you had swallowed your pride, we wouldn't have been in this situation now. You know what? I am done. I am leaving you. I'm leaving. I'm sorry, please. Don't leave me. If you leave me, who am I going to stay with? Oh. oh. How come you did not consider all that? How come you did not consider it before taking your decision? Now, see where you have got us. Please. Please, my wife, please. Please swallow your pride. Your Highness. Not now! I'm sorry, Your Highness, but there is trouble. Two of our warriors were found dead at Agumba's residence. This is on fire, even as we speak. What? Where is Agumba? Where is Agumba? You did this to me. You have no reason to still be alive. I will tell your father. I must tell him you did this. <laughs> and what makes you think my father would believe anything that is coming from the lips of a dying man? We had an agreement, SM1. I gave you my virginity and in return, you spat on my face. I was made for that contest. It was agreed upon that I will in match the winner. You knew this and you still went ahead to sleep with me. You deceived ah, me! You ah, deceived me! Ah, ah. Oh, princess. Were you expecting me to say not to such a beautiful lover? Oh. She said something about agreement. Are you telling me that Agumba allowed you to win or you used the charm on him? Answer me! Answer me! Answer me! Where have you been? None of your business, father. Your Highness, Your Highness, I am dying. I am dying. Your Highness, I returned to my hut and I met two guards at my doorstep. My hut was on fire. I quickly rushed in to pick up some valuables. And how come none of the guards saw you when they got there? You didn't even report to me immediately. Your Highness, I tried to trace the perpetrators of this act, but I didn't get them. I guess I'm unlucky this time. 
And who do you think that is responsible for this? I would have said Igwama Beza, your highness. But I've done nothing to him to deserve this wicked act. Now I'm homeless. It's alright, um, you can live with us in the palace. No, your highness. I don't deserve to be seen close to you after disappointing you. You shamed our people by surrendering to defeat. Your Highness, I didn't want to die without exposing the charm used on me by Ezenwa. I had him in control until all of a sudden I lost the control and I didn't know what happened. You mean Ezenwa used charm on you? You are disturbing me. You are disturbing me. I'm in the farm working. Allow me to work. You can't. I mean, I need my daughter back. Yeah. We don't even know if she is still alive or not. Your daughter said she wants to go after the father of her unborn child. Do you expect me to stop her? Nothing should happen to my only daughter. Nani, nothing should happen to my only daughter. I told you not to let her go, but you encouraged her to leave. Listen to me, Njideka. You are the one encouraging your own daughter. Mm -hmm. That unborn child must be removed. She cannot stay with me in my house. I said that. And that's final. Do you understand me? But you told her not to return to this house. Yes, I did. It's more than two days now she left. You must bring my daughter back. I can't afford to lose her. Go after her. Go after her. Not me. Don't disturb me again. Go after her. Nani, you must bring her back. I can't afford to lose her. If you don't bring her back, I will leave this house. Eh? Eh? What did you just say? I will leave this house. Minjideka. How are you today, my good friend? Your daughter. Your daughter dead, dead to me. What do you mean by? By that, my daughter did what? Yes, Your Highness. I am going to tell the elders. I will tell the entire people of Umudike how you plotted all this. If you don't do anything about my health, Your Highness. So, so you are threatening me. I did. I did what you asked me to do. I don't deserve this, Your Highness. I don't deserve death. I deserve to be glorified. How you express gratitude. Okuli and I actually discussed this and we said we would spare you. Yes, that was 
spare your life. You know, but mm, now that it has come to threatening me on your deathbed. Yes. 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 You make new friends here. Yeah? Hmm? Here is your new family, okay? Please. Allow me to go. I don't want any of this. Beg of you, my king, please allow me to go. That's how these things happen. He wasn't thinking straight. I didn't consent to this. Please, I beg of you. Allow me to go, please. See, my dear. I want to give you a piece of advice and... I'll be happy if you heed to this advice. Hmm? Get you to this place. Get used to this family. Get used to everything happening around you. Because this is your new family. And you're not going anywhere. You're not going back to Mudike. No. The maids told me that you've not eaten anything since you are. You are right. Now that's not good for a prince. Hmm? Follow me, so you can eat. I don't want to eat. I want to go home. Don't disobey your father, the king. Now follow me. Turn and follow me. Move after you. Come on. Go on. That way. My queen. What do you want, Agumba? I heard you now live in the palace. I'm very sorry, my queen, for what happened. I tried my best. Really? You couldn't defeat SM1? My queen, I was overpowered. I felt something diabolic. I just can't tell what happened. So what do you want? My queen, remember you made me an offer sometime in the past and you told me to ask for anything and it will come to pass. That was before the contest? Yes. I will get your son back for you. But you have to do this one request of mine. What is the request? 
Honestly, my queen, my life has not been the same since you made that offer. And I've been thinking of what best to ask from a pretty queen like you. And one answer keep recurring to my mind. I want you, my queen. I don't understand. Um, no, can, can we sit? No, no, well, go ahead and talk. Okay. You see, my queen, I've been trying to fight this feeling, but I just couldn't. I, I love you, my queen. And I would want to be your man. Ay! Ay! My queen! Are you drunk? Uh, I, shh. How dare you? Have you forgotten I'm your queen? My queen? Is it because of the king? I have seen how harsh he treats you. Leave him to me, I can take care of him. Get out of my presence. to fetch you. As what? Who asked you to fetch me? Your father, who also is my father now. Now listen to me. I am not your sister. And I don't share the same father with you. Have I made myself clear? I'm sorry. I didn't ask for this. I don't need a brother. I didn't ask for this. I didn't. Then help me. Help me go back to my people. You. You will regret ever stepping your feet in my father's house. I am my father's daughter. His only daughter. And nobody, I repeat, nobody will take his love and attention away from me. Is this serious? My Majesty, you don't expect me to lie about something like that. Akumba. No, I, I, I don't, I don't, I, I can't believe this. I can't. Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings. You sent for me. Agumba, I don't want to believe what my wife just told me about you. What, Your Highness? Am I in any kind of trouble? What did Her Majesty say about me? You tell, ask my wife to sleep with you? And even threaten to get rid of me? What? Me! Agumba! But your majesty, you didn't have to lie against me. I was already considering your command. Which command did she give to you? She was bitter that I lost the contest. And she vowed to make me regret it. She asked me to leave the palace. And I was considering coming to tell you this evening before leaving. No! It's a lie! Why, why are you lying against me? My queen, you know I am not lying. You are lying! I am not lying, you my queen! Lying. I am not I'll lying! Hey, enough! Ah. That's enough! Now get to the root of this matter. Get out of my sight! Out of my sight! Wait, hold on, hold on! That's it? You believed what he just said? Oh, please, please, please! Tell me that. Uh -uh. Get to the root of this matter. But definitely I must get to the root of this matter and bring back my son in this palace. Yeah. <laughs> 
How did you find me? I disobeyed my father and left the house, even when he threatened to disown me. I've missed you so much. I'm sorry things turned out this way. I don't blame you, my dear. I don't. I had to find you when I heard Agomba lost the contest. I'm sure my mother must be heartbroken now. I pray to see you and her. Thanks the gods you are here. My love, we have to leave this village now. We have to run away. Let's go to another village where nobody will recognize us. No. The last time we did that, it didn't turn out so well. I just can't do that. I can't leave. My love, this is not your home. You can't have a stranger as a father. I know. But they will haunt me. They will haunt me and I will end up in trouble. I am sorry, my love. I am not going anywhere. What would you have me do then? Eh? Because I can't go back to my parents. I can't go back. It's okay. Please, you must go back. Go back to your people and take care of our born child. Please. Go back to them. Until I figure out a way out of this. Please. My love, you know I can't stay without you. I can't live without you. <laughs> For the very last time you listen to me. That boy is in. He belongs to this palace. It is your duty to welcome him and see him as your own brother. He's not my brother and he will never be. Stop it. Stop it, please. Father and King, I decide who stays and who does not. Very well then, send me out of the palace since I'm worthless to you. I will soon join my ancestors. I want royal blood sitting on this throne. Not a stranger in the name of marriage. Father, you used to tell me how you want me ruling our people when you're gone. What changed all that, Father? What? I wanted a son from your mother. But she couldn't. And she's no more could have married someone else. Someone that will give you a male child. At least I will have a blood relationship with the person, not a total stranger. I promised your mother, and even myself, that I will never remarry. Then why bring in a stranger? Or is your new prince part of the promise you made to my mother? His coming in is purely by chance. And I take it that our gods also ordained it. I never knew that Ezenwa would win that contest. You lie, father. You lie. Ezenwa before his death told me that it was arranged. Which means that you have already chosen your successor. 
I was never in the picture. I... Tell everybody what you did. I will. They will not listen to you. Because all fingers will be busy pointing at you based on the evidence. His Majesty has to go for my time to come. And my time is now. I'm sorry for the loss. festival with us. Who will believe that? Chai! And I leave. Chai! Ive Melo. Hello Melo. He was my best friend. My bosom friend. His death is shocking. Indeed, Che. My fellow chiefs. This is a wake-up call for all of us. There is no security in this our kingdom. Exactly. Watch your back. Exactly. Hmm. Those incompetent guards that guard the palace must be dealt with. Yes. They must be dealt with until they tell us everything they know about who murdered our king. Oh, give me a minute. I am suggesting we crown a new king immediately. Since the rightful heir to the throne has been won to another kingdom, any kingdom that is under an attack needs a king to pilot the security affairs of the kingdom. Exactly. Ofoma, you are right. Oh, yes. Ofoma, you see, we need someone to ascend this throne. Uh, but uh, who is that person? Who is that man? 
Liche, according to the traditions of our land, Omudike Kingdom, in the absence of a heir to the throne, mm. that is in case the king did not have a child, mm. the rightful person to occupy the kingship is the head warrior of the village, who is assumed to be the strongest man in the community. That is our tradition. So we must crown Agumba the king. Mba. Mba. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Agumba failed our king. He is not worthy to stand. In fact, step near that throne. But he is still the strongest man in our kingdom. Mm -mm. Except somebody challenges him. Or do you want to challenge him? So, that is the way it will be. Something, something just happened. I just received news. Something happened. What happened? Um, he is dead. I mean, your father. Your father is dead. Well, you don't seem to have heard what I said. Of what use will it be when I know you will not be compassionate to let me go and see my mother? Hmm. Sorry about your loss, my dear. Sorry about his death. I bet you have to be consoled by the fact that you now have a father in me. Hmm? A new father who will take care of all your needs. I am not bereaved. I will not miss my father. Mm. Well, in a way, I, <laughs> it's, a, it's a relief and I'm, I'm happy that you, you've adjusted to the present situation. Well, so do we, we go back or do we continue? <laughs> well, let's, let's go on. I thank you, elders of Umudike. I thank you for counting me worthy 
to be your Igwe. I was a very good friend to our late Igwe, who confided in me and took me as a son. I never disappointed him until recently, when I couldn't keep to my promise to protect his son. You all should know that he made that mistake out of pride. But that's in the past. This is a new dawn. And I promise to work with all of you to ensure the peace and progress of our people. Igwe. Okay. Elders of Umudike Kingdom. You all have greatly disappointed me. Woman, this is not time for this. We are in the middle of a deep conversation. Okay, let me talk. I cannot believe that you all decided to crown this murderer your king. Woman, leave this palace this minute. I will call the guards to throw you out. You don't need to shout. Tell them. Tell them how you killed my husband. They are king. Agumba, tell them. How dare you? How dare you? Accuse me falsely. How dare you? You are a murderer. You are a murderer, Agumba. You know what? Get away from this tool of power before the gods disgrace you. This tool does not belong to you. Leave! my husband oh you think i was joking with my threats don't forget i still have the evidence that makes you the murderer please why don't you just send me out of this palace and get yourself a wife never never it's you that i want and you alone i will never give you my body very well then, be prepared to be crucified by our people once I show them the evidence tomorrow. Please, I'm sorry. I still want to see my son. Very well then, behave and be alive. All that matters now is what I feel for you. Yes! 
see my queen. I, I love you. Come on. You, you, you don't want to respond to that? My queen. I, I am the king and you are the queen. So I am entitled to you. Come on, let's go in and have fun. Let's go and have fun. <laughs> After you. Uh, okay. Um, After you. Uh, After you. After you. Oh, okay, okay, let's go. Come on, my queen. My queen, let's go, let's go. You will definitely enjoy it, I know. Come on. Terrible things suddenly happening in our kingdom. Hmm? Who have we offended? I wonder, how can we lose our king and our queen in a period of less than a week and we are not doing something about it? What do you want us to do? When our new king seems adamant, about a way out for us in this. Maybe we were wrong to have crowned him the king. You made a point. But we have to wake him up to his responsibilities. Which security is the paramount of it? Don't you think so? Can you believe that none of the gods could tell us exactly what happened? All they could say was that an intruder found his way into the royal chambers and killed our king. Not quite a week after that, the same intruder still found his or her way into the royal chambers again and killed our queen. Something is not right. The most painful aspect of it is that they were killed right inside their own heart, which means Whoever is doing this knows his or her way around the palace. That is true. Wait a minute. The guards, the guards, they should know something about this. You know what I suggest? Hmm? Until they tell us everything they know about this matter, I suggest they remain incarcerated. You are correct. Is you who? Also. Yes. Then they should know. They, they should have been there. Uh, my elders, I have to take my leave. We shall just... be convened at the appropriate time. Yes. Let us pray to the courts to save our kingdom. That is all we need to do now. Okay. I will see you. See you now. All right. Bye bye. Hi. Hi. Kenzo towards Alusi and then I will reach you. Hello. What is it? Why are you seated here alone crying? Please, before I forget, I... You must promise not to tell my father what you saw the other day. It's just that I hate that man. I just want him dead. I received news that my mother is dead. Oh dear. I'm so sorry about that. Sorry. 
I hope that one day I will return to her. Now she is dead. My hope is lost. She told me she wouldn't make it if I leave the palace. Oh, my father. My father has destroyed everything with his pride. It's okay, stop crying. I'm sorry about everything, okay? I also want to apologize for the way I've been behaving towards you. It's just that I feel threatened with your presence in this palace. Is that the reason you wanted to kill your father? The throne of Ifite belongs to me and nobody will take it away from me. Can I give you one advice? Don't kill your father because you won't get over it. I will not stop you from taking what is rightfully yours. But my people won't allow me to mount the throne as long as you're here in this palace. Which is why I'm going to do this. And I'm not sorry about it. That panic. Come on, be fast. What is the meaning of this? Eh? Your Highness, what is the meaning of this? I heard you chased out the laborers I sent to your farmland. Why? Your Highness, but you just said the farmlands are our lands. So why did you send laborers? I am the king. My word is authority. No one questions my authority. The laborers told you I sent them, didn't they? They did. But the land belongs to me. You have no right to encroach. You have enough farmlands. <sighs> I can see you now have the gods. The effrontery. The temerity to question my authority. Agumba, remember that we put you on that seat you are sitting. And remember also that we can remove you from that seat since you have decided to become a tyrant. How I ever regret supporting the idea of you becoming our king. The kingship of this land, it's my right. Without the presence of Ezina. So none of you could have done nothing about it. Uh, you, you, your Highness, our people are suffering. There is hunger in the land. Yet all you do is confiscate people's lands and properties. You are a huge disappointment. You are a very big disappointment. Yes. Did you just say that? Yes! To Agumba! Killing you means mercy! I will tie you and let you both starve to death! I am Agumbo! Agumbo one! I have spoken. You dare not challenge my authority! Gods! Your Highness! Take two of them to the back of my heart. Tie them on your greasy tree. Until they start. Stop that! Agumbo! Agumbo! 
Oh yeah, Agumba. 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 Your Highness, Your Highness, I did not do it. Yes, I did not do it. I did it. Father, he's lying. <laughs> he almost succeeded, if not that I screamed. Oh, you dumb Lily. Yes! Your Highness, Your Highness, no, believe me. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. She's lying. Okay! So you are, you, even if it might be more you want to, you are accusing my daughter, you're saying my daughter is lying. How dare you! How dare you! Father, this is, this is an insult to my person and this entire kingdom. Yes! I can't believe I almost lost my virginity. To what? This thing! I said it on, from the onset, Father, that yes. I didn't like him. Look at that him, Anya Adiriyama. I didn't like him, I told you, but he insisted on keeping him in this palace. Take him about to correct now. I will correct it now. Dad! Yes, Your Honor. Take this thing off here. Take him to my slaves in the farm. There he will work for the rest of his life. No, Your Highness. Yes! Your Highness, please. Move it. Take me back to my people. Your no. Highness, take me back to my people. I beg you, don't do this to me. I Ouch! Your Highness! Your Highness! Take him! Take me back to my people, Your Highness. You will work there your for Highness. the rest of your, of, of your life. And you will, you will suffer. You will suffer here. Yeah. Suffer until you die. Die and suffer. Yes. Yes. Eh? Father, he, he, he was touching me. Hey. He touching me. Hey. God. Yes. God. Bring him back. I want to kill him. No, that I will tear yes. him to pieces. Come on, okay. Hmm. Preparing my meals these uh, past few days. Why the sudden kindness? Meaning that I can't take care of my father, the king. <laughs> I have maidens who cook my meals in this palace. Why stress yourself? I want to, Father. I remember when my mother was alive. She used to prepare your meals even when the maidens are around. And you loved and enjoyed it. Isn't it? Mm. 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 Yes. Yes, I did. But don't remind me about those days. I'm sorry, Father. I'm only trying to do what she used to do for you. <laughs> One. If I didn't know you very well, I would say that a hidden intention that I'm your father and I know you. Look. If this whole thing is all about the uh, prince, I promise you, he will come back. Oh, bring him back. I merely sent him to that place so that he will suffer for what he did. 
See, nice tool is for both of you. <laughs> Good. I was hoping you would say that, Father. Yes. Which is why I decided that today is going to be the last. What did you say? Hey! What? This... Ah! This... This... We... This wicked girl... What? Ah! Hey! Ah! What? What did you put in my food? The soul of Ifite Kingdom belongs to me and nobody will share it. I killed Ezemu after taking my virginity and didn't back out from the contest. <gasps> you. Did what? Yes! I killed your number one warrior and today it's your turn because you're a threat to my leadership, to our people, my people! <sighs> My prince, Prince Ezinna. Please don't call me that. It does not matter anymore. I'm sorry about your parents. I heard what happened. If not for what your father did to me, I don't think that could ever happen. My father? Yes. Please tell me, who are you and what did my father do to you? I am a chosen now. I used to be a head warrior of our kingdom, Umudike. Oh, I see. You are from Umudike? Yes. I was sent out of the palace. Your father sold me to the king of this land. Did you ever try to dethrone my father? No, my prince, it was a setup. It's quite unfortunate you are brought here to suffer and die. Death is the only thing of solace. I look forward to after all I've been through. Enough of that discussion. What? Agumba, the head warrior, must have taken over from my father in my absence. Which means 
There is no way my people will, will ever think of me again. As far as they are concerned, I am gone. I am gone forever. No, no, please. You don't belong here. I said enough. Thank you. Hey, Nim. I, I think you should stop and rest. Eh? This kind of stress is not good for a pregnant woman. <laughs> um, will you break the remaining firewood at the back? Uh, no, I will do that when we return from the farm. Rest, sleep, eh? I don't want you to stress the baby in your womb, okay? Nim, I'll break the firewood once I finish sweeping. Huh? I, I said no. I will take care of it when we return from the farm, eh? Your food is already waiting for you. Eat your food. Rest. Eh? I, I don't want you to sweep again. Keep the broom. When I return, I will sweep everywhere. Rest. Your baby doesn't need any, any stress. Oh, you know, go. Oh, no, no. Uh -huh. oh, no. You people should take care of yourselves at the farm. Oh? So bad, you too, Nam. Adima, uh, sleep. Uh, but don't sleep with your two eyes closed. Eh? Keep your one eye open so that you will know when we come back. Where are you? I beg you now. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Sleep. Rest very well. Eh? Mbata, I will wake you when I'm back. Inugo? Oh. Hey. Uh, yeah. no. You said that uh, you have this waist pain. Yes, mm -hmm. I will bear an ointment for you. Mm -hmm. I have the ingredients in the farm. I prepare it. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not tired. Not tired. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's go. Now nah, let's go. Now let's go. Now nah, let's go. Now 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 let's go.
And all of you, why are you standing there looking at me? Walk! Get back to work! Walk! If you dare try to escape, death and wait, both of you! <laughs> I told you not to come back, didn't I? You, you did, my prince. My life was threatened. I was attacked by the palace guards. Immediately, my parents went to farm. They almost killed me. <laughs> Almost killed you? Yes. Why? I think the king sent them. Maybe because I'm carrying your child. <laughs> Agumba is now the king, right? Yes. And he's treating our people like animals. It's very cruel to them. They regret putting him in power. I couldn't go any other place but here. <laughs> but I didn't know that you are not a slave. My friend. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I conspired and put me here. But it's good. We will survive this. Trust me. Okay. Thanks to the gods that you are alive. Because I wouldn't be here losing you. It's okay. You are not here to discuss. What? You mean she escaped? What do you mean? You are searched everywhere, my king. But you didn't see her. Now get out! Get out and search everywhere! Find her! That woman must not give birth to that bastard in her womb! She must not! Now get out! You don't come back here without her head! Did you hear me? Now get out! Out! Fools! Nay. What is it? Ah, uh -uh. where do you think you are going to now? Nay, we can't fold our arms. I'm going out there in search of my daughter. We can't. We've, we've gone in search of her. We couldn't find her. So, relax, please. Maybe I will go in search of her at her friend's house. We have gone everywhere. Eh? So, why don't you just leave it? She's safe. What do you expect us to do? To keep calm? Our daughter may be in danger by now. She might be in the arms of the prince, cooling off. Wait, are you saying she may be at Ifite Kingdom? Well, who, well, well who, who knows? She comes in here, she will greet us, and we leave. Eh? She will go, come back, and leave. She's safe. Listen to me. Just go inside, get me my food, let me eat, and go to the farm. That's so, all. Then we have to be sure about that. Not now. Go inside. Prepare food for me. I want to eat. I'm going to the farm. Nani, I want to go and search for my daughter. I said I want to eat. Nani, I'm going to search in search of my daughter. Eh? Where is this? Is our queen. What do you have there? My queen, these are valuables we collected from those that don't have money to pay their tax. Good. What about the rest? My queen, they refused to pay. And we couldn't find any valuable to confiscate. What rubbish! I won't take that nonsense from anybody! Nobody's worth living in my kingdom without paying his or her tax! Anybody that refuses to pay should be ah, killed! Have I made myself clear? Yes, our queen. 
Everybody should pay me tax, including you, guards. Yes, I pay you so you return. You should use the money to pay me tax. Else, I will kill all of you, finish you. I buy you myself, Claire. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Take the valuables to my hut. Fetch me the town crier immediately. He needs to sound this note of warning to all the villagers. Because anybody that refuses to pay will face my wrath. I will kill the person. The person will face that. Now go. Allow us to go, and I promise I won't call the car. I can see you've made a new friend at the beat. You have the guts! How dare you! How dare you attack me in my kingdom! Just allow us to go. I promise you, we will not return back to this land. No! I won't allow you go. You belonged to my father until his death. And now, you are mine to punish and starve to death. And if you don't allow us to go, I promise you, I will kill all your cars in this park. <laughs> yes. The guards' lives are worthless to me. You have cost me. I killed our head warrior because of you. I killed my father all because of you. You be in this kingdom. I will punish you and starve you to death. I have done you no wrong. Allow us to go. No. Allow me to go back to my kingdom. No. You are going nowhere. I will ask both of you for the last time. Where is your daughter? Your Highness, we have been looking for our daughter for, for a while now. We don't even know where she is. Your Highness, 
We were even coming to report to you of our missing child. Yes. We have no idea where she is. You heard I was looking for her and you hid her out of my reach. I will kill both of you. Your Highness, even if, if, if I knew where she is, I would not even tell you. Man, what are you talking about? It's better for him to kill us. What are you talking about? Let, 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 let him kill us. Eh? He, if he sets eyes on our daughter, he will kill her. And we are both dead. What, what, what's the meaning of that? Uh, although I know, if, if I, I don't even know where she is. If I, I, if I knew, I, I would not tell you. Oh. You are not even certain of her whereabouts. And yet you have the infantry to talk to me in that manner. Your, 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 your Highness, I know that I am not in good terms with my daughter. But I will not allow you to kill her. I will never allow you to do that. Do, do that. Kill me instead. Kill, kill, kill. kill me instead. <sighs> Majesty, kill them! They will do no such thing. Oh, Prince Ezenna, you are back. I can see the slaves are back too. <laughs> but let me warn you, you have been banished from this kingdom. So, you are not allowed to stamp your feet here. I was banished by the king, not you. And now that he's gone, I have equal right with you to be with you in this kingdom and this palace. Oh, I can see. Both of you are ready to join your ancestors. I will kill you. Yes. Just like I killed your parents. Oh yes, I did! I killed them to be on this throne and I will even kill more to remain on this throne. Don't dare me. I am here to take what belongs to me. The throne belongs to me. I am here to take back what belongs to me. I am here to take back what belongs to me. I can see. When a child is not yet grown and asks of what killed the father, we definitely kill him! Very well then. For everyone that has died from your tyranny. Great Umudike Kingdom, your king is back. Long live the king! Long live the king! Long live the king! Hey, long live the king! 